Hi everybody and welcome to Cap at Home in Gold Detroit. Today we have a new art project for you. So we're going to hop on over to the table so I can show you what it is and how to make it. So let me just tighten up this thing here so you can see. We are making these mini affirmation boards so i know the project is called mini vision boards but i think we all kind of focus a lot on all the things we want to do for the new year and for this next 30 minutes ish we're going to focus on the things that we have accomplished and the things that we already are so i want you to start this project off by making a collage that says something about the good things that you like about yourself. So I got these words from, uh, I think it was a mascara ad. And if you can call mascara sensational, then I can call myself sensational, right? So we're going to take some time to create a small collage, but I'm going to show you what you need in order to make that collage something that you can hang up on the wall, just like this with the, um, really simple, little piece of string and some popsicle sticks so in order to create our collage we're going to use a few things including uh -oh, cardboard i have mine cut to about um index card size because that's the size that i like and that's the size that works well with the popsicle sticks but you can do this at whatever size you want You'll also need some construction paper or something to create your drawing or your collage. So you might also need some magazine pages too. And then you'll need glue. You can use a glue stick or Elmer's glue works really well for this project for all of the different parts. I'm going to be using a combination of hot glue and a glue stick because as you can see I have no glue in this one. <laughs> You will also need um, color pencils, markers, crayons if you are making a drawing on your paper. And then finally, you will need, um, you may need a ruler. You may or may not use it. If you want to be super precise, you'll need a ruler. You'll need at least 16 popsicle sticks. And you'll need just a little bit of string. Um, sandpaper is optional and I'll show you how to use that later on and you'll also need scissors to cut things down to size so once you have all of your material collected you'll want to create your um, collage or drawing or whatever it is so I know that takes a little bit of time so if you want to just pause me and go ahead and make yours you can do that I'm going to start with this one that I have pre-made um, one thing I do want to show you is how I got my clean edges so I have a few scrap pieces of paper here and with my cardboard so this is we're imagining that this is already a collage or drawing that I've made and it's beautiful and wonderful and I'm ready to attach it to my glue um, that's not glue <laughs> I'm attaching it to my cardboard so I have two pieces of cardboard so that I can make this a little bit thicker just because I personally like the thickness that I've created here and I did that with multiple pieces of cardboard but you don't have to use multiple pieces you can use just one which is what I've used on this actual collage I'm going to glue these together and you can glue it together with whatever kind of glue you have I'm using hot glue because it dries fast and just putting my two pieces of cardboard together and now I'm going to take my collage and this is the side that I want up so I'm going to flip over on the back side that I um, don't care about and I don't want to see and I'm going to add glue to the back and I'm going to add a glue stick because it doesn't bubble up like Elmer's glue and it doesn't create um, a lot of texture like sometimes your uh, hot glue can. So creating the drawing and stuff is definitely somebody, um, something that anybody at any age can do. So if you are not quite old enough to use scissors, you know, if you're eight and under, 
then this is the time where you'll create your drawing or your collage and maybe someone a little older can um, help put the rest of it together because that requires a few tools that might be outside of your wheelhouse so we got our glue on here but I've been talking so it's dried a little bit and I'm just gonna wrap my drawing around the edges so that I have a clean edge to my finished piece so that's something that you'll want to keep in mind for your drawing you want to keep the part that you really like in the middle and leave the edges free and clear because we're going to wrap them around and you won't see them at the end of this so I'm just going to kind of wrap this up like a gift push in my corners and however you choose to do this is up to you this is kind of how I do it and what I'm used to, I push my corners in. It's how I wrap gifts. But if you do it a different way, I'm sure it will work just fine. As long as the edges kind of get tucked and hidden, you will be good. So I'm going to take this glue stick again and make sure everything is nice and sticky. Try not to get any on my work area. If you need to, you can put down a little piece of paper so glue doesn't get all over your work area and make everything sticky. Now I'm going to just push these to the back. There we go. And I got a little glue there, so I'm going to stick it right on there. There we go. So now, this is how you create the top part so that you have clean edges and if your stuff isn't sticking down and you have some tape kind of laying around you can just put tape on there to keep it in place but that is how you create your clean cardboard canvas so this is what we're starting off with I'm gonna swap these out because this has my design on it already and the next part, the most important part that we're doing today is adding the popsicle sticks to the back and the string so that we can hang it. So one thing that's really helpful when you're um, doing the back part of this, creating the, the thickness here, is that you want to put enough popsicle sticks so that your string is kind of up in the air. So when your hook comes here, it has some space to kind of live and allow your piece to hang. So you don't have to do as many popsicle sticks as I did on this one. This example only has um, four, it's only four popsicle sticks high and that works fine. So you don't, so you can do like as few as four or you can do more. It's up to you. But we do need to do a little prep for our popsicle sticks. So, you will probably want to count them out and decide how many you want on each side and then make four piles of that number of sticks. So, if I'm putting, what is this, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight. So, eight sticks on each side, I should create four piles of eight sticks. So that's something that you will want to have off to the side and ready to go because I found that having the piles of sticks in the number that you want allows you to do this without forgetting how many you've stuck together and making the different sides bigger than each other. So for um, the reason that I cut mine down to, um, I'm calling it index card size, is because these sticks fit really well that way and then I just need to cut the ones that are going to be on this side and I've already done that with these so I like the way that fits but you can do this any size that you want so if you don't want to cut your popsicle sticks because it kinda is a little difficult then you can make your canvas bigger so that instead of having to cut these on the side you just have to you have a more square shape canvas and you just put your sticks on like this so it's up to you but I'm going to show you how to make the popsicle wall now 
all you do is take your stick and whatever glue that you're using you like I said you can use school glue which works really well for this but it doesn't dry fast enough for me to show you how to do everything in the video so I'm using my hot glue gun I put a little bit of glue there on the stick not too much because when you squish the sticks together it's definitely going to come out the sides kind of like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with too much jelly <laughs> so and then I press it down and then I turn it on the side and press it down on the table again to try to even them out so that um, my stack of sticks is very uniform and all together and some aren't kind of jutting out over here and then jutting out over there so you're going to repeat that for however many sticks you want your um, side wall to be you're going to pay attention and make sure that you're lining up the ends but I've noticed that with the popsicle sticks I have they're not all exactly the same size so if that's something that's going to bother you <laughs> then you should definitely kind of take inventory before you start to make sure you have ones that are as close to the same size as possible and I am I want my finished piece to be like 12 sticks long so are 12 sticks tall so I'm going to glue together 10 sticks and then I'm going to put my string in place and glue the last two sticks on top of the string so I think you kind of understand what I'm doing with the popsicle sticks here I'm just adding glue and I'm putting my popsicle stick on top pressing down and then pressing it down into uh -oh, uh -oh, pressing it down into the table so that it lines up and it's even but that kind of takes a long time so I'm gonna give you a minute to do that but in order to move on quickly I have some already done so these are my two side pieces <laughs> joke and they're all stuck together and then I have the two popsicle sticks that I'm going to put on top after I sandwich the string in there and I have the two pieces that um, I'm going to put on these shorter sides all trimmed down so I'll show you how I got this length here and why this one is more even than this one so the first thing you want to do is turn your drawing or your collage over on the back and after you stuck your most of your sticks together you'll just add glue to either if you know where you want to put it on the canvas you can do it there but I'm going to put it on the actual stick then stick it down in place and since I have like some 3d things on the top it doesn't allow me to just press it down on my table so I'm just gonna squeeze it with my fingers there then I'm gonna do the same thing for the bottom add a little glue to my popsicle wall here And then stick that across from it and try to line it up as much as possible but it doesn't need to be perfect there we go and squeeze that into place so that that sticks and now I have these and I'm just gonna stick them right there but in order to know where to cut these I first um, after I did this step I took one of my popsicles and then you can take anything to draw with pencil marker crayon anything you have and I drew a line that lines up with the outside edge of these popsicle sticks right onto the popsicle stick that I'm going to cut okay So now I have a popsicle stick with those markings on it 
And then I grabbed my um, stack of the other ones. And drew the lines on there. But first, I just cut this down to size and use it kind of as a stencil. And when you're cutting this, the little pieces bounce everywhere. They will shoot across the room. So I have this little tray and I will dump these out here. This is just like from a sour cream container. So <laughs> I just use this to collect all of my little pieces because you might want to go ahead and add those to the front of your collage if you're like me and you don't like to throw anything away. But you can always just throw it away because um, you don't need them. But you might figure out something creative to do with them. So you take your stick and your scissors and you carefully cut. And you'll see that the popsicle stick has kind of split as I was cutting it. They do that a lot. Don't worry, just keep pushing forward. Because when you glue these together, so even if this part kind of splits, it, when you glue it together, it will come back together because you have added glue. So no need to worry about if it splits. See, it just shot across. And I just pick them up and try to put them all back in place. And then um, once you're done cutting all of these, because you'll have a lot, you'll want to throw that away. So I've cut my one piece down to size. And now I'm going to take all of the other ones. Remember, we put them in piles, depending on how tall we wanted our um, popsicle wall to be. So if you're doing, this was eight. If you're doing eight on each side, then you'll need to make marks on 32 different sticks and then cut them all down to size and that takes a little while and so you may want to ask for help because my arms kind of hurt after doing it so and you definitely want to have something to kind of catch the pieces you could do it right over your trash can or a garbage bag or um, grocery bag and you can always have somebody help you go find the pieces as they go flying around. So once you've cut them all down to size, you'll glue them together like we did with the other ones. And I've already kind of pre-done that. And you can glue all of these sides together because we don't need to sandwich our string on the top ones or Depending on how you're doing this, you might not need to sandwich your strings, but I do because mine is going horizontal. So glue them together like this to create a little wall. And here is where our optional sandpaper comes into place. So for this one, I sanded the ends so they're a little straighter than this one where I didn't sand, um, sand the ends of it at all. So if you care that your ends are not even, then you can sand them down. And I have sandpaper to do that. I just put the paper on the table and then go back and forth, kind of like how you file your nails. I won't do that because it shakes the entire table. But just sand that side down, sand this side down. And if you have any hot glue that's left over on the side, you can also kind of sand that off and smooth off the sides. So that's completely optional. It's not necessary, but it will clean up the way that your frame looks. So think about that. And finally, we're going to add our short walls. And we're going to do it the same way we added the long ones. We're going to add a little glue to the bottom of our popsicle stick wall. And then hold that in place. There we go. Oops. And do the same thing for the other side. And now you may need to... Take a step back and check the front of your canvas to make sure that you have 
the top where it needs to be and the bottom where it needs to be then flip it right over and now we're going to add our string so that we can hang this so that it reads the right way so I know that this is the top and I'm flipping it over so I want to add my string about a third of the way down like about right here so I'm just going to grab my little ball of string and I don't need the string to be super tight I want it to have like a little bit of hang in there so I'm going to just snip this here if I want it to be super accurate then this is where my ruler would come in handy but I'm not worried about that because this is just an art project right now so and I'm only doing this one if I was doing a whole bunch of them maybe I would use my ruler you could also use your ruler to measure the sticks to make sure they're exactly the same size but it's not completely necessary so now I have these last two little side pieces and I'm going to sandwich my string in between them but first I'm going to add glue stick the string down and then put the other sticks on top so you can do this with Elmer's glue like I said you can also do this the glue stick probably won't work that well but Elmer's glue will work really well it works really good with the popsicle sticks so I'm going to add my glue I'm going to do one side at a time because with the hot glue you kind of have to work quickly I'm going to place it and then stick that stick on top and press it down really sandwich it in there and I know it's in place because I have a, li a little bit of my string coming out. So I'm going to do the other side. Add my glue. And then place my string and try to make it kind of even as even as possible and I have some string hanging over the edge and that works fine because then I know that it's sandwiched in between my popsicle sticks and voila and if you don't want that string to be hanging out there then you can just kind of snip it down and throw that away and you're done and now you have a little canvas, an affirmation canvas. So hopefully you use the ideas from this video and other projects that you do with Cap at Home or even projects that you do for yourself because it can be applied to almost anything. And you can even do pieces that are larger than what we did today. You will just need to make um, cut your sticks down and kind of put them together like a plank of wood so as long as you're doing something that's pretty lightweight and maybe it's just paper or cardboard you can use this technique to add a hanging apparatus to the back of your piece so I want to thank you guys for joining me today at Cap at Home and Go Detroit. And I want to give a special shout out to our new sponsors who make these videos possible. General Motors and the Community, Community Education Commission of Detroit. So thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Thank you, the audience, for joining me. Hopefully you do a couple of these different projects with us and email us pictures because we love to see what you come up with cap at home in gold detroit thank you thank you thank you i'm miss rachel and have a great day